There we go. All right, so that's an example I wanted to show you that when your hands are full, it can be really difficult to open the doors on the Tesla Model 3 and Y because of the way the door handle is designed. But one of the things that I mentioned when I was reviewing the auto presenting door handles is how easy it is to open the door when your hands are full. You see how it's presented here and just with my pinky, I can very easily open the door and if my hands are full, I can get things in there and I'm good to go. But what if you don't want to spend that kind of money for an upgrade? Well, I'm a little Tesla guy, and I'm going to tell you about a feature in the Tesla app and a great third-party app that makes it easier for you to open the door. Now, the self-presenting door handles is a great feature, but it's also an expensive feature to add to your car. So, as I mentioned, it's easy with the self-presenting door handles to take your pinky and open the door. It's as simple as that. But Tesla has actually added a great new feature to their app. As simple as taking the phone out of your pocket, opening the app, and then a quick tap of a button, and it unlatches the door for you. Now, if you're new to Tesla and the app in general, and you want to know where to find this feature, it's very easy. You open up the app, and underneath your avatar is a list of quick controls. Now, if you don't see unlatch the door, just take one of those controls and give it a long press, and then you'll find unlatch door within that menu. Now, you can drag that that into the list of customized controls. Now we'll of course replace one of the old ones, but you'll have it there in your list if you want to use it. Now I know you might be thinking that if my hands are full, it's going to be hard to pull this thing out of my pocket and then open the app and tap the button to open the door. And that's a great argument. And unfortunately, you can't say from the store, no, your hands are going to be full, and then say from the checkout counter, maybe unlatch the door from there and then walk out to your car. Now, that's also probably not a great idea for a security standpoint, but it's something that can't be done nonetheless. But there's another great third-party app called Watch for Tesla. Now, I did a review for Watch for Tesla several years ago, and it's actually improved a lot since I did that review. So doing this review and doing this uh, video has actually prompted me to possibly do another review on Watch for Tesla. So be sure to look out for that. And of course, if you want to see my earlier review, I'll post a link to that in the description below. But what Watch for Tesla has done, which is a really cool feature, is not only is it easier if your hands are full to just kind of twist your wrist here and then you can of course take this uh, open up the app and then you can unlatch the door but what's really another cool feature that they've done is the Tesla app only allows you to unlatch the driver's side door but the watch for Tesla app allows you to unlatch the driver's side rear door and you can also unlatch the other two doors on the other side and from the same menu without having to press yes to confirm you can actually open up your front so that's an easy way to do that and then of course if your hands are full you can put everything in there and from the same app you can close it without having to confirm that's of course if you have the automatic opening and closing front which is another video for another day now what's really cool about this is you might be thinking well okay Let's just address the elephant in the room. So, my hands are full and I'm having a hard time opening the door. So what do I do? Well, it's hard to do it with the traditional way, right? If you have the self-presenting door handles, it's easy to do that. Do that. If you can unlatch the door, it's easy to do that. But what if I just do this, right? And I drop everything and then I just say open the door the traditional way. And sure, that is a great way to do it. But in my opinion, what's the fun in that? We've got this great car with all of these great convenient features. Why not use them? So again, all you have to do, your hands are full. Here's the app. And then all I have to do is do this. Give it a quick tap. And now my hands are still full. I'm like, oh man, this is kind of hard. So all I do is just open it up with my finger, put it in the car and you're good to go. All right, so that's one of the great features of the Watch for Tesla app. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is this just a stupid gimmick? Is this something that's not useful? Is this something that'll be useful for you? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you think. And in the meantime, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.